So next up is using truthy and falsy when assigning variables. So this gets a little bit weird to understand kind of what's happening. So if your username, uh, let, let's just analyze this specific code right here, okay? Um, if your username, actually no, let's look at this one. So uh, let your username is that, let default value, notice how this is not assigned yet. Um, so this is technically undefined. It's doing the same thing as equals undefined, okay? If your username exists, or if the uh, username dot length is greater than zero, the default name equals username, else the default name equals stranger, okay? So now because username is empty, you will print default, it'll print stranger and it'll assign it to stranger, okay? Another way to do this is to use those logical operators by uh, inside of the assignment. So username or stranger. Under the scenes, what's happening is if username um, is longer than is is a string that is longer than zero, it will assign default name to username. Otherwise, it'll assign it to stranger. Um, this gets this this logic is kind of weird, but basically, if this side is truthy, it'll use that side. Otherwise, it'll use this side. It's just a really short assignment false. A uh, a uh, 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 what is it called? Really short assignment operation using or, okay? Basically using if then or if else inside of a single line within two. So that's what's happening here. So, so let's look at this in action. So um, we've got a writing, you have tool equals that. Do not edit tool yet. Okay. Assign writing utensil the value of tool. And if tool is falsely, assign default to pen. So if tool or pen, that's what's happening. So if tool um, is a truthy value, it'll assign writing utensil to be tool. Otherwise, it'll assign it to be a, um, a to be the string of pen. So if I run that, the pen is mightier than, mightier than the sword. All right. Now let's rename tool to be marker. I run that, the marker is mightier than the sword. So now marker is a truthy value. And so it'll be using that side instead of this side. So this is where things kind of get weird and why JavaScript people will try to use shorthands. I recommend not doing this, but you can actually make, um, you can just use this as your if else statement. So you can say um, tool or uh, console.log i. Okay, so now if tool is truthy, it won't do this, else it will do this. Okay, so now um, let's just get rid of all that. So um, yeah, so if your tool is truthy, then it will uh, work on this side of the operation and won't enter into this side. But if tool is falsy, it will enter into this side of the operation. So um, now I'm going to get that. Now we'll say hi. I put stuff there. Now it says nothing. So that is like the opposite of an if else statement. Now, if you use the and and, this uses it. This is basically a shorthand for if else completely or just if. So if tool exists, then it will do this. So now tool is that. Now that. Here's the thing. This is inherently difficult to read without, uh, if you don't really understand what's happening behind the scenes. So I do not recommend you write your if else statements like this because I, I don't know how it is in performance, but it just inherently is not great to read. It, it's, it's hard to tell what is happening really behind the scenes. The other way to do it is if tool. That makes a lot more sense. If tool is truthy, then it will enter into this. And it's doing the exact same thing. They are literally doing the exact same thing. Tool, actually, maybe not literally. Because one behind the scenes may be doing a different, um, is probably doing something else. Um, but their output is the exact same thing. Okay. So now it's going to say nothing. Hi. So now it'll say hi, okay? Again, do not write your if else statements like that, um, like this. Do it like this. 
Otherwise, it can be very confusing for other people who are trying to read your code and may not have a firm grasp over that. Okay, so this brings us into the ternary operation, and uh, um, it's basically a way to assign variables um, in a single line using if-else. So similar to before, we were... Um, two before... Uh, no, one before, is we were assigning let default value equals if this is false, then it will do this. Um, and if you did the and, if this is true, then it will do this. Um, but you don't generally do that. You always use the or, okay? So if you, it, it's a similar, this is a similar concept, but we are now utilizing a new syntax. This is where it gets a little bit weird. So, this ternary operation utilizes question marks and colons. And this is where a lot of people get kind of confused. So basically what's happening here, let is nighttime is true, then we'll go into here, else it'll go into here. Great. We understand that. Fundamentally, we get that. But we can also use a ternary operation, which I do not recommend when you're doing this, because this is a bad way to do this. Um, in this situation, I would just do it like that because you're not assigning this to anything, okay? I only use this if you're trying to assign the output of whatever your if-else statement is, okay? So let's get into why. So refactor edit the first if block to use a ternary operation. This is going to suck. Okay, so basically it wants me to um, if or not is locked question mark and then I'm going to copy that. Go there. And then colon here. Um, indents don't matter. Um, oh, doesn't want that. That's right. Indents do not matter with a uh, JavaScript. And so basically that's doing the same thing as that. Um, but I was just, I'm sorry, new lines don't matter. And so I was just making it so it was easier to read. So there's that. Um, and then refactor the if-else block. Okay, now I'm going to do this. Question mark. That. Get rid of that. This. This is so bad. This is bad way. Really, really bad. I really do not like this at all. Do not write your if statements like this. I think um, Code Academy teaching you to do this is really uh, do it this way is really bad um this is inherently less readable similar to the and statement um using ands as the if else thing um this is inherently less readable now why would you use this fundamentally like why why would you really use that as um a thing so for example um let's say um i don't know yeah, okay, so let's say I have a dog, okay? Um, let dog status equals uh, hungry, okay? So now I've got a variable, I'm going to say const dog status equals hungry. Let um, action, and this can be either, um, this would be um, feeding or eating. No, feed me please. Or this could be, um, this could be, um, I'm not, I'm not hungry. Okay. Hungry. Great. So if you're going to do this with an if else statement, if dog status equals 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 hungry, um, be sure to use equals equals equals. Otherwise there's going to be type coercion. It will still work with the equals equals, but just do it with that. Action equals I'm not, whoops, I'm not hungry. Okay. Um, and notice how I use double quotes. Um, if I use single quotes, I should use a um, backslash right there. So anyway, um, else action equals feed me please. All right. So now, if I console.log action and I run it, it can say I'm not hungry. Okay? 
That doesn't make any sense. I just did this backwards. I'll just do a not operation there. There, feed me, please. Okay, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so um, it's now saying feed me, please. Okay, which makes sense. But there's an easier way to do this. I can do this instead of that whole code block. I can say action equals dog status equals 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 hungry. If this is equal to hungry, then I'm going to say action equals feed me, please. Else, I want the action to say I'm not hungry. So now I can comment that out. Feed me, please. So this is saying if the dog status is hungry, then it will say, uh, whoops, I don't need that. It'll just assign action to be feed me, please. Else it'll assign it to not, I'm not hungry. Okay. And if I do anything else, if I just make it empty, it'll say I'm not hungry. Okay. So this is where you would use the ternary operation. I would not use it in this context because this is just, the whole point is for it to assign to whatever the left-hand side of it is, okay? Um, it's just a shorthand for this. So if this is true, then it will go to here, else it'll go here. And I'll assign it, sign the left-hand side in there. Um, otherwise, I, it's just, this is bad code. This is just bad code. Only use ternary operations, or even the this thing that I was explaining before, the truthy and falsy assignment. Only use that for assigning a variable. Do not use it for actual conditional statements because it is inherently less readable. Just only use if else for those things, okay? So there is ternary operation and assignments um, and using conditional statements to assign variables, all right? Um, I don't have anything else for this. I think the next one is going to be like the switch statement. Nope, it's the else if, which we've already learned. But I will see you in the next video.